you know, when you first joined the firm, one of the things that you did is you gave this um, talk at an all-company meeting. You know, we introduced Lars, and you gave this talk. And uh, it was a talk that I just, you know, has stuck with me ever since. And every day when I wake up, I think about that. I'm like, wow. You know, I think about, what did Lars say? Like, how would he think about today? And could you share kind of your personal philosophy and what you said there and what it means and how it, how it drives you and guides you in your life? Uh, I can't remember what I said, but I can, <laughs> I can, but I can, but I can tell you something about that. Um, it has I think to do with legendary. Legendary, yeah. So, so my view is that, despite the fact that we're in a church, but I actually believe we only live once and we have a very short life and uh, it's such a precious life. And we all have so much to give and I believe in the magic of people and I believe so few people get to see their own personal magic. And it, it's, it really actually crushes me to think that so few people uh, get to be who they could be and show that to the world. And so uh, I've spent practically my whole life uh, making sure that I give as much as I can possibly physically do with every piece of DNA that I have, and preferably beyond my genetic potential. That's sort of my, uh, <laughs> that's my goal. So whenever I wake up in the morning, that, that's pretty much how I challenge myself. You know? And so I, I pretty much look at everything I do as, was this absolutely out of control fantastic? And did I just throw everything in it that I had? And was there anything else I could have done? And so that's my life philosophy. And uh, the, the amazing thing about building success factors was that so many people went and did that with their lives, whether they were in Madison, Wisconsin, or whether they were in Indonesia, or they were in Shanghai, or they were in, in uh, Rio. They just stepped up to the plate. Nobody wanted to invest in our company. Nobody. And <laughs> it ended up being the, the best sale in multiple of revenue of, uh, in 10 years of any technology company. And nobody wanted to invest in it. And so who did it? The people did it that worked with us. You know? And people just stepped up to the plate and they decided to become legendary. And they just weren't good enough with OK. They were on it legendary. And so. Um, that's kind of how I decided to live my life. And so it's in everything you do, right? You can just sort of look in the mirror and you can be, did I really push it as hard as I could here or did I just fuck around? And uh, you know, I think the more we get perspective in life, the older we get, we realize that we spend our time on a lot of crap that actually doesn't matter at all. And then there are very meaningful moments. Um, sometimes that's giving back, like here at Glide. And um, that's some of the things you need to think about. I gotta go. I'm gonna go be legendary. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, was your guy's. That was motivational. <laughs> I'm motivated. That was good. Thank you.